Hello, hello, Capricorn. Intuitive Soul Coach here with your May New Moon Energy Reading. So I'm very excited to be here with you today and tune into how you can utilize the new moon energy to help you along your, your path and your journey. So just a friendly reminder, this is a general reading for the collective energy of Capricorn. So it may not resonate with every single one of you. Hopefully it does. Uh, but if it doesn't, take a look at your other chart placements as well. If you are rising in your moon sign, uh, may give you a more in-depth reading as well. But today we'll be asking five questions regarding the new moon energy, which does begin May 11th, depending on where you are at in the world. So we'll tune into here uh, where your energy is at, what you should focus on, your highest potential, the energy surrounding you, and action steps. So action steps that you can take to help you utilize this beautiful new moon energy coming up here in Taurus that'll help you along your journey. So just a reminder, new moon is again May 11th. It's a 28 day cycle. So you certainly can use uh, the new moon energy to help you achieve your highest potential. Uh, if you are interested in a personal reading, you can find that link in the description box below. And if you are interested in being entered into the monthly drawing giveaway for a free reading, that is in the links in the description box below as well. All right, so we're going to dive right in here, Capricorn. How are you doing? Okay, I'm seeing somebody curling, curling their hair. Uh, or has very, very curly tight curls. So you're either using one of those wands. Uh, there's hair wands that almost look like this. It's a straight wand. It's a very small one. So you're, you're making tight coils with your hair or you have very tight coiled uh, curly hair is what I am seeing right now. Woo! So if that is you, uh, Capricorn, it's just telling you to pay attention. This one only. Okay. Thank you. It's telling you to pay attention uh, to the energy of this new moon because I feel like it will really help you along the way. So I will be pulling cards here for you, clarifying those questions as well, along with intuitively getting uh, action steps and pulling an action card for you to help you along this new moon. Beautiful. Thank you so much, Spirit. There are the five that I need. All right. So right away in your energy, the question is, what is my beautiful Capricorn? What is their energy right now? So you have the hanged man. The hanged man is, Cap, you're seeing something in a whole new perspective. We do have the hanged man in reverse. Uh, but this is all about looking at things from a different perspective because of some stagnant energy going on. You are... You're feeling the need to release the situation with the hanged man. Uh, you want to see how things play out in a certain situation. Uh, there may be delays. For some of you, this could be a delay in starting a project or delay in a relationship. Uh, but you're definitely seeing something from a, an entirely new perspective or you're wanting to see something from a new perspective. Because I feel like for many of you, whether it's a relationship or it's a career uh, there's been an eternity of events that's been happening here uh, coming up to this point now. So we're going to clarify this hanged man energy. Uh, what is it that my beautiful Capricorn is seeing differently? Okay. And what are you feeling uh, the need to release? I'm getting the word release very strongly here. So spirit, can you please clarify here the hanged man energy for my beautiful Capricorns? What are they needing? Thank you. Okay, yeah, you're wanting to birth, uh, birth life into something. This is you having a new, a new idea. The Empress, and this is crazy because you got two major arcanas right off the bat. So you're seriously undergoing some huge changes right now, Capricorn. Uh, the Empress energy, this is all about you birthing new ideas, new growth into something. Uh, this is you using your heart chakra as well. Uh, but this is all four queens wrapped up in one here. It's a very nurturing energy here, uh, but it's all about abundance as well. So you're wanting to either nurture a career, uh, wanting to bring new life to an existing career or relationship that you're in, or you want, if you are single or in that solitude energy, uh, you're wanting to birth a whole new experience based on what uh, 
possibly what you didn't see in the past. Uh, so this could be even you trying to birth new life into a past situation or a past relationship here, Capricorn, but you're definitely trying to uh, create something new because you are seeing things from a new perspective. So they are telling me to go one more on that. Okay. All right. Thank you. All right. So, yeah, there, you want to celebrate. You want to have fun with the situation. You have the Four of Wands coming in here. And the Four of Wands, this is all about you wanting stability in a situation. But the Four of Wands is also soulmate or twin flame energy. So a lot of you could be working with a, a twin flame or a soulmate. And you could be wanting to rebirth something that maybe you didn't feel in the past. You're wanting to kind of see a situation from a whole new perspective. And for those of you that are inquiring about a career as well, uh, this could be you being on your soul journey, your soul path regarding career and you celebrating uh, the abundance, the new beginnings. So for many of you, if you're trying to start a new business or if you just started a new job, there is cause for celebration in your current energy. So the four of wands here is all about prosperity, but it's about you hitting an important milestone. So Capricorn, whether this milestone is something in your mind, I feel because you do have the hangman in a new perspective, you're, you had an aha moment. And so there's something that you're feeling really exciting about, uh, excited about you're moving forward. Yeah. Because then you have the king of wands. Uh, this is passion, inspiration. The king of wands is all about, uh, being a leader. He's a spiritual influence, but this is also the card of entrepreneurship. So a lot of you could be birthing a new idea into becoming your, an entrepreneur, building up a business, uh, because next we have you manifesting. So because you're able to see a situation differently than you did in the past, whether again, a relationship or a career, you're manifesting new, you're bringing new ideas into the picture here. You are using the tools that are readily available. And for many of you, with this aha moment of seeing things in a new perspective, you, you're realizing that you actually do have the tools within yourself to create the life that you want, is the energy I'm picking up for. And because you're able to see things from a different perspective, there's celebration going on here for you. So this is your current energy, Capricorn. I'm really loving this. It's, it's a very prosperous a uh, very abundant energy going on here for your current energy. I feel like you're seeing things from a whole new light. It's almost like a whole new you. You just, it's like somebody just woke you up one morning and shook you and said, Capricorn, do you get it? Do you see things from a bigger picture? It's excitement. It's, I almost feel like childlike vibes coming from it. Not, not an immature energy, but just the, the excitement, you know, when a child takes their first steps, they want to run towards uh, something instead of walking, uh, they want to run right away. And I feel like that's you. And that's the, the energy I feel like you're taking. This is your focus. So the next question for your new moon energy on May 11th here is what should you focus on Capricorn during this cycle? And this is the card about velocity. It's about speed taking off. So exactly as I was just saying regarding the, the child analogy of not wanting to walk why by taking their first steps, but a child wants to run towards something right away. Uh, you know, you hold your arms out and I feel like you're birthing new life into a relationship or a career that's going to take off quick for you. So I really like the speed and the velocity and the momentum behind this energy. Uh, so, so what you're supposed to focus on is moving forward Capricorn during this cycle. And if you feel like there's any kind of blips or bumps in the road, don't worry about that is what I'm hearing because you are seeing things from a whole new light and you can withstand any stagnation or any anything that comes in the path or comes in the way. The Eight of Wands energy as well is all about an end of a delay as well. So you finally have direction now. In the past, maybe there was a lack of direction, but I want you to focus on moving forward during this um, new moon cycle. So I'm not supposed to pull any more cards on that, but talk about the next one. So uh, what is my beautiful Capricorn's fullest potential during this cycle? Beautiful card to have as your fullest potential. This is the nine of wands here. The nine of wands energy is you 
finding that motivation, that determination, despite if other people tell you you can't. Let's say you're in that relationship where maybe you've tried over and over and over to try to make make it work with them and people are telling you it can't be done or you can't do this or uh, maybe it's even them telling you to walk away from a situation. It's you listening to your own intuition, Capricorn, and uh, standing your ground and not listening to what everybody else is telling you you can't do, uh, but focusing on what it is that you can do because you have this magician energy. You have the tools, Capricorn, at your disposal to help you along your path and along your journey. Uh, definitely entrepreneur energy going on here. So there may be some things that try to stand in your way, uh, whether it's people, whether it's money, uh, but the nine of wands comes in to say, you have the spiritual strength and backup. You have the courage, you have the discipline, you have the persistence, and you are going to finish what it is that you're starting. So that should be, uh, that is your uh, full potential during this new moon cycle is to finish what you started, uh, Capricorn. So how I want you to take that into effect as well is I want you to, uh, an action step that I'm being intuitively guided for you as well. So whether this is a career, a relationship, a health, uh, health advisory, anything like that for you, I want you to take baby steps into finishing and completing something to its fullest. Okay, so for example, let's say you've been wanting to clean out a drawer in Maybe it's the junk drawer in the kitchen, or maybe it's a drawer in, you know, the office, something like that. And you've been putting that on your to-do list for a while. I want you to tell yourself you're going to do it and give yourself uh, maybe a time of day or maybe just a project, but I want you to bring that to full completion. Okay. That's what this nine, nine of wands energy is all about here. And even though this is your fullest potential, I feel like these action steps Capricorn will help you during this new moon is definitely bringing something uh, even if it's not this huge project that is showing up in your current energy, uh, but for you to tackle the little projects, because I feel like that will give you the motivation to keep going, whether it's in a relationship or a career, or even if you're starting something new uh, with somebody and you're, you're single and starting a new venture with them, uh, I feel like you taking the action steps to complete something is going to throw that energy out into the universe and you'll be able to manifest that uh, in your future as well. Okay, so then next up we have what energy is surrounding you currently? Uh, what is the energy that is going to help you achieve your full potential Capricorn? And we have the wheel. So the thing with the wheel here is the wheel can either turn this way or, you know, it can go up or it can go down. So the wheel is always ever changing. That is the only constant thing in the world is change Capricorn. Um, so what the wheel is telling me regarding your energy is there may be some ups and downs that you're dealing with right now, but the wheel comes in to say karma, not so much karma, but destiny, destiny, the universe is stepping in and they're, they're giving you some sort of unexpected change to move forward during this cycle. And this could be in the form of meeting someone by surprise. Uh, this could be, okay. So I'm getting two separate energies here. I am getting that for those of you that are inquiring about a career and you're birthing new light into either entrepreneurship or a new job, um, I'm getting that you, you will meet somebody by surprise here. And that's uh, the energy that will be surrounding you during this new moon cycle that will help you be able to birth new life into your career or building yourself up here. And the second energy that's coming through is for those of you that are looking for love or that are in a relationship that you want to grow and build and nurture uh, for your highest potential. Capricorn, the energy around that is your luck is about to change. So again, you have the wheel coming in here and this is, this is good luck and fortune. You can see here that uh, she has, she's wearing a pair of dice around her neck. Uh, that's rolling the dice on something that you're starting new. Absolutely beautiful energy regarding, you know, what you can surround yourself in. The, the potential here. The potential, you have a lot of potential. Roll the dice is what the universe is saying. Um, so we're just going to get, Spirit is telling me to pull a card regarding the wheel, even though there are two energies coming in there for career and love. Uh, Spirit, what is it that you would like? 
This one here? Okay, thank you. Okay, yep. All right. So for many of you, uh, if you are inquiring about love here, you may be wanting to rekindle or um, move forward in a past relationship. Somebody from the past, whether an ex uh, or somebody that you wanted to get into a relationship with or see if something would go further may come back into your life here. And that's the energy that uh, I'm picking up on from this wheel. So again, an unexpected person coming in by surprise, kind of out of the blue as well. Uh, but this could also represent, uh, for those of you that are looking into career more, this could be you looking at things from a, a childlike perspective. As I said earlier, uh, the running towards something and being excited about it. Uh, so this is memories of childhood as well. So for... I'm seeing a farmer, somebody's father, a farmer, father, farmer, 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 Joe, farmer. Sorry, spirit was just showing me this image of um, somebody wearing like a red flannel or brown, almost like an ugly brown flannel <laughs> with the overalls. And I'm seeing them on a dock. Um, and I'm hearing father. So somebody could be thinking about their father or wanting to follow in their father's footsteps is what I'm getting as well, Cap. Uh, or you could be asking your father or your father shows up, shows up out of the blue. So whether your father is still uh, in us with us in the physical world, you could be receiving a call from your father uh, or a father-like figure. Uh, or if he has passed along, you could be getting messages in your dreams regarding your father. Okay, thank you, Spirit. Beautiful energy there. Very beautiful. So the final question that we have, Capricorn, is what action do you need to take to achieve your full potential? You're walking away from something that possibly, you know, you're, you're getting outside your box. The Eight of Cups energy here, this is all about you letting go. Uh, it could be abandonment as well uh, are you feeling abandoned in a situation of the past because i don't feel like this is necessarily your current current energy uh, but use this new moon to walk away from something in the past that did not serve you whether that's a relationship a career uh, maybe a bad habit but the eight of cups comes in and it says you're releasing capricorn you are releasing it did show up in reverse so you're definitely releasing something from the past and you're starting a new beginning uh, with this this empress energy you're starting a new beginning because you were able to walk away from something in the past. And we're going to clarify that as well. So your action steps, again, aside from starting something, a project, start to finish, tackling something on your to-do list that you've been putting off, even if it's cleaning a chunk out of the garage or even getting ready for a garage sale uh, is what I'm hearing for some of you. Uh, but you're walking away from something, you're leaving something behind, and I'm also hearing the words, I have not abandoned you. I have not abandoned you. So it's not going to resonate with everyone, uh, Cap. But for those of you that know what that means to you, uh, I hope it does resonate. Uh, but I, I have not abandoned you. All right. Yeah. All right. Knight of Wands energy. So this is, again, the action steps that my beautiful Capricorn need to take to achieve their fullest potential during this new moon cycle. The Knight of Wands energy is all about, this is the second fastest moving night in the deck. So you have a lot of fast moving energy happening during this new moon cycle. But this is somebody or something taking rapid, passionate action towards something. And because you are birthing new creation, new ideas, uh, maybe some of you are even uh, pregnant yourselves or just found out you're pregnant. Uh, but there, there is something coming in here that's very passionate, very fiery. The wands are all about, uh, again, that passion, creativity, that spark. Is, thank you, Spirit. The spark uh, in a situation because of that initial childlike excitement. The nine of wands comes in as well, uh, very spontaneous very adventurous you know this is almost like a sweep you off your feet kind of energy so <laughs> what i am seeing again is the child running towards you know a parent 
uh, or somebody with their arms out, but they're running instead of walking. So this is your energy, Capricorn. You're going towards something that's bringing you more excitement, more passionate. Uh, I'm loving this energy. I feel like you are moving towards something because you're seeing a whole new perspective in it and beautiful energy to be in. So we are going to pull a final angel card here regarding action steps that you can take. This one here? No? Okay. No. Uh, action steps for you to move forward during this new moon cycle. Capricorn spirit, what does my beautiful Capricorn need to physically take? What sort of action steps or emotionally, spiritually, or mentally to help them during this new moon to achieve their fullest potential? Thank you. All right. So we have here workshops and seminars. Attending and giving speeches is part of your spiritual path and be open to teaching and learning. Okay, so workshops and seminars. For those of you, uh, obviously you're here watching this, uh, this YouTube energy right now. So it could be as simple as watching somebody on YouTube to learn more and gain more uh, experience or wisdom or knowledge regarding your situation. Uh, but you are definitely seeing things from a different perspective now, Capricorn. And it could be because of you taking some sort of spiritual web workshop or webinar. I said webinar, but it says seminar. No such thing as coincidence. So maybe it's some sort of webinar, uh, but you're definitely teaching and learning in this moment. Uh, so that is your action steps. Pay attention to, again, what your mind is telling you. Uh, start a job from start to finish. You're walking away from a situation. You're bringing uh, passion and excitement into something. And your action step is, you know, continue learning about yourself, Capricorn. Continue learning about the world around you and seeking knowledge. Because I feel like you are on that path of enlightenment, Capricorn. And it's helping you along the way. It's actually shifting your whole perspective. So you may feel... Uh, maybe your life is completely different than it was in a relationship or a career. And especially with all the changes that have happened over the last couple of years in the world itself, but your life could have been changed. Uh, I feel like that's your energy you're going through. Beautiful going on. You're birthing an idea into the world. You're actually taking action on it, moving forward, standing your ground, despite what anybody says about it. You're not letting anybody's opinions, ideas, or blockages get in the way. Uh, there's a good luck, good luck in your, in your uh, outcome for your new moon energy here. There's a, t a turn of events. You have a fortune and abundance and success on your side. Maybe a visitor from the past coming in here. Father energy definitely is coming in strong. Uh, you're walking away from something from the past. You're bringing in that excitement, that passion, that spontaneity, <clears throat> and you are attending and learning through workshops and seminars. So Capricorn, I hope that resonated with you. Beautiful reading. Great job to you. You have not been abandoned. All right. So I hope that resonated. If so, please hit that like and subscribe button. Stay tuned. I will be posting about the full moon energy as well uh, in about a month or so. So uh, sending lots of love and light to you, Capricorn. Until next time.